Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. You understand what's your name? My name is Nate. Nate. So he said, curses will come upon you if you break the commandments. How did our people, how did your people, the so-called Haitians, get to that land that they're in right now? Huh? On boats. How do we get the so-called African Americans get to America? On boats as well. On boats. Y'all know that? Hey, come, come around and watch this. I'm going to read this to y'all real quick. So Moses was speaking to the Israelites. He told the Israelites, if y'all break the commandments, curses is going to fall upon you in the future. Y'all, you understand? You follow me, right? Let's see one of the curses that happened to the Israelites. Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. In verse 68, and the Lord shall bring thee. It says, and the Lord, remember who it said. It says, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Into Egypt. Egypt, when you read Exodus 20, let me get that real quick. It says, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Let's see what Egypt means. The Bible defines itself. It's going to tell you what Egypt means. Read that. It's the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. He said, I brought you out of the land of Egypt. Watch what he's going to call Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. Another word for bondage is what? Bondage or what? what? What we know today, what happened to our people at this time? We was in what? Slavery. Slavery. Yeah. Exactly, sis. Yeah. So he says, I am the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt out of the house of bondage or I brought you out of slavery in Egypt. Now go back. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee. And the Lord shall bring thee. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Watch this. Watch this. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Into slavery again with ships. Again with what? With ships. With what? Ships. How do we get here, sis? On boats. On ships. Look at these. Look at the images that we got right here real quick. Look at these images that we got right here. It says, and the Lord shall bring thee into slavery again on ships. That's why we got these images here. The so-called Native Americans went into slavery in Spain on ships. We the same people. When y'all look at the sign right here, you see this brother? You right here. Look at the sign. This is who we are right here. We're the Israelites. These people right here, we're the same people. All of us went through slavery That's right. on ships. Watch this. Watch this. Let me finish the scriptures. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. So we're not going to see our homeland again as a nation. Come on. And there. And there. Once we get off the slave ships, ye. Shall be sold. It shall be what? Sold. Sold. Did they not sell us on the auction blocks? They sold us. Who did it? God did it. Out. It says, and the Lord shall bring you into slavery. How? By the hands of the white man. Because we broke his commandments. It says, the Lord shall bring you into slavery. And when you get there off those ships, you shall be what? You shall be sold. We're going to be sold. They sold us on the auction blocks. Yeah. They sold us in Jamaica. They sold us in Haiti. They sold us right here in America. In Spain, in China, Japan. We were shipped all over the place because of our disobedience to God's commandments. We broke God's commandments. He brought us into slavery. He made good his word that he spoke unto Moses. Watch this. Give me uh, verse 32. Listen, y'all grew up in church, right? Y'all grew up in church. Did y'all pastor ever show y'all this in the Bible? Did he ever show you that God was going to bring, uh, that God did this to us? Be honest, sis. Never. I'm going to show you that these pastors in the church are false prophets. That's in the Bible. 
The real prophets is going to come out here and teach you what you need to do to save your soul. Right. That's why. It's going to be a lot of death and bloodshed on this earth, sis. Yes, it is. But you got to know how to escape it. It's documented in the Bible. What you should do to avoid punishment. God gave us, he gave us the blueprint. It's right here. But the pastors never taught it because they only about that money. Get them ties. Let me get the ties. Right. Sing and dance. Hey, thank you, Jesus. That's it. Yeah. Why you don't read the Bible to our people? Because they are false prophets. Come across, sis. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 32. Let me read y'all another curse that happened to our people. Tell me, tell me who this happened to. Thy sons. Thy sons. And thy daughters. And your daughters. Shall be given. He says, shall be given. Unto another people. Who did that happen to? Whose sons and daughters was taken and sold to other people or given to another people? Bring it out. Who did that happen to? Us, right? It happened to you now? At this time, or it somehow it happened to us in the past? It happened to you in the past. In the past? Right. And then it happened to us during this time when they brought us over and they took our children it out. and sold them to somebody else in another in another city. Right. And is this still happening? You say it happened to you in the past. Your kids were took it from you, right? Who took it? I them? feel like DCFS. DCFS. Guess what? We're still under the curses. At this time, we was doing in slavery. They took our sons and daughters and they sold them off to other people. It's still happening today. They taking our children in DCFS. It's still happening today. The white man still has power over us. There was nothing you could do about it. They took your kids and there was nothing you could do. Let's read it again. That's in the Bible. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. He's saying, your children are going to be taken from you, given to another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing. Meaning what? You're going to see your children being taken away, and all you can do is cry. You can't do nothing about it. God did this to us, sister. God is trying to get us to wake up and come back to this Bible. He said, your kids are going to be taken, given to another race of people, and all you can do is cry. Cry, cry, cry. You can't do nothing about it. No. Read. And there shall be no might in thy hand. Did you have any power to get your kids back, sis? We didn't have no might to get our kids back. There was nothing we can do. We didn't have no economic might. We didn't have no military might. We couldn't do anything to get our kids back. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you something, sis. And this love to save your life. Give me that. Hey, sis, don't go nowhere. Hey, Zeph, he said he want to see what we talking about over here. I got you, bro. So what we bringing out? Give me uh, what's uh, 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 Lamentations 2, 14. I'm going to show you why you still smoking cigarettes. You know that's wrong, right? Do God want you smoking cigarettes? No. So I asked you a question earlier. I say, did they teach you this in church? You said no. But you've been going to church for years upon years upon years. And we just showed you, according to the Bible, you're what? Israelite. You're not an African American. Right. You're not black. You're not a nigga. And like I wouldn't be saying, that's my bitch or that's my hoe. You're not none of that. You're the children of God. That's right. And we should, and our women should carry themselves as such. They shouldn't be running around calling themselves bees and hoes. That, that's not, that's not God like. That's not woman like. You understand? You're precious. Matter of fact, give me hold this and give me. Uh, no, I want to read this and I want to show you how special you are, brother. I want to show you how special you are. You're the greatest thing that God created. Right. Believe it or not, we're the children of Israel. And the only reason we are at the bottom as black people is because we disobeyed God. We broke his commandments. But God promised us that if we come back and keep the commandments, he's going to give us rulership over all nations. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children.